Howdy Duty. My name is Susie and today I'm on the hunt for some little plants that I want to use in my bird bath. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Just going through my backyard, going through woodland areas and just looking for ground cover that I can transplant onto my bird bath. I'm ready to go. So I'm just going through the backyard and I'm looking for plants that have very shallow roots because obviously the bird bath doesn't hold much soil. So look at what I found right in my backyard, Creeping Jenny. So I've got all this Creeping Jenny growing wild and I'm gonna just grab a clump of it because I'm going to want to use it around all the edges of the bird bath. I've also got this toothed moss, which is growing behind my shed. And I'm going to pull up some of this and transplant that as well. This is going to create a really nice cover for the bird bath. And then I've also got, this is called Spanish stone crop. And it is just growing amidst my garden bed, which needs to be cleaned out but I'm gonna grab some of these because I think they'll look cute too so I've dug up my plants and I've got them collected now I'm just watering them to keep them nice and moist I've got my moss the creeping Jenny and the Spanish stone I think it's a Spanish stone vine. So it's nice to keep that all saturated. Here's the bird bath from last year. And it's not too bad. I've got chicks and hens, which are doing well. And some of that Spanish uh, ground cover, crop ground cover is still alive. I've got some of the moss and then tiny little flowers, but it looks like all the creeping Jenny did not make it. So I'm just going to clean this up and loosen the soil and transplant my new plant. I just use my little rake to just loosen up the surface dirt. Places I'm going to make contact. I'm going to start with the creepy Jenny. And I've grabbed it so I've got its original root system in the soil. And then I'm just going to add my moss. And I'm going to add moss to just secure the roots of the Creeping Jenny. And the final touch is my crow. And by the end of the season, this shell have overflowed and it'll look great. Let me show you what this looks like in different times of the year.
if you like this, I hope you share it. And if you'd like to see more content, I hope you subscribe. Happy gardening!